signature hot towel. And unfortunately, those of us in Europe and North America tend to get stuck. But what's up, travelers? Today, we're flying the best transatlantic economy class in the world. Oh wow, I love this. So I found the check-in. I'm always, like whenever I fly economy, since I don't want to wait in line, I try to come right before it closes. And even though it's a sold out A380, there's not a single person in line. So you may have seen the check-in signs and been like, what? Singapore Airlines? Singapore sure as hell is not over the Atlantic. And that's true. But the amazing thing is, Singapore Airlines has two routes from Europe to the US. They fly from Singapore to Frankfurt and Singapore to Manchester, and both those flights continue on to the US. From Frankfurt, they go to New York, and from Manchester, they go to Houston. So you have two options to fly what is my favorite economy class. So made it through security, and I was just thinking about, it's so, so funny because I don't think I've been this excited for a flight in so, so long. Doesn't matter if it's been a first class flight or a business class, today's flight just makes me so excited. And I'm sitting on the upper deck in economy, which is just the most comfortable you can get. And you have a great storage compartment right next to the seat. I'll show you once we get on board. It's super private, insanely quiet up there. It's just the best way to fly economy class in the world. And you can select those seats for free on Singapore Airlines. So this is a really crazy trip because I haven't been to the US in a year, which is such a long time for me. Like when my parents parents got divorced, my dad moved to the US and I moved to Sweden with my mom. There were a few years when I didn't go a single time, but that's it. The rest of my life, I've been there every few months to visit my family because my dad and his entire family live there. His wife, my grandma, my grandpa, my cousins. So last summer I decided to spend a month there and long story short, it wasn't great for our relationship. And for the past year, I've been scared to go back because uh, I haven't known like if it would make it better or worse, and I've mostly been in Asia anyway, so it hasn't really been like naturally on the way anywhere. So I've just hesitated to go, and now finally, after almost 12 months, I'm going back to visit my family. And uh, honestly, although I'm a little bit scared, I'm also super excited because I miss my dad a lot, and uh, I want to catch up with him. And I think they just called my name in the PA, so I think I need to run. <laughs> world's best economy class on the world's best airplane, or most comfortable airplane at least, here I come. I think we're gonna board through business class, so this will be a real tease. guys as you can see I'm packing my entire bag in here because we have an insane amount of storage space which is just so nice as you saw here I have a ton of storage literally I put a laptop um, you can see everything that's in there then we have this super plush comfortable pillow waiting in our seat this is better than what you get on some airlines SAS in business class and we have this super fluffy blanket so loads of comfort and I guess I can put these in here too to have even more space and then looking right ahead we have USB charging and Ethernet cable which is kind of crazy you can also put a water bottle or a cup here. Um, we have our tray table, which folds out. And it's one of these nice ones with a mirror, which is also unique to Singapore Airlines. And last but not least, my favorite thing is always the seat pocket, which has compartments, which is always so useful. And a, um, a footrest. All right, guys, so we have Singapore Airlines signature hot towel. Even in economy class, we get these. So Singapore Airlines also has menus in economy class, and it's a big menu, as you can see. So let's see what we're going to eat. So first, they have the options from Singapore to Frankfurt. Actually, first we have the beverages here, but um, in case you're curious, here's what you'll be served if you're flying on the longer flight from Singapore to Frankfurt. Some people are continuing on, so 
everyone had to get off the plane, but some people are flying all the way from Singapore to New York via Frankfurt. So here will be our food options as always. Actually, today I ordered an oriental vegetarian meal, and I'm really hoping that Singapore Airlines will serve dim sum. Not sure, they probably don't do it out of Frankfurt, but out of Singapore when they do that, I love it. Guys, this cracks me up. Singapore Airlines sells beds and refrigerators in their in-flight magazine. Punctual as always. Welcome aboard Singapore Airlines. As the safety equipment on this aircraft may differ from that on other aircraft. Please give us your attention as we bring you through this important safety briefing. We have menus and hot towels. We also have an amenity kit. What? So inside we have some socks, which I'm gonna put on now, and a toothbrush with toothpaste. But speaking from experience, you can get much more things just by asking, like an eye mask and earplugs. So we get this little headset, and we have orange juice served to us with probably within 10 minutes of takeoff. Cheers, you guys. Here you can see the headrest, which is also super adjustable, and the seat recline. Oh yeah, and not only that, Singapore Airlines Chris World is one of the best entertainment systems in the world, along with probably Emirates and then a little bit below Prince Guitar. They have 38 complete seasons of TV programs. They also have 78 shows with more than one episode. What? So Singapore Airlines also has Wi-Fi on board all their A380s, although their older ones don't have quite as good a system as the new ones, but let's check out the pricing. Here you can see it is insanely expensive. $20 for just 50 megabytes. So here is our meal, and as you can see, it's a huge portion. We've got uh, some dessert, which looks really nice, a fruit salad, and can't wait to see what's underneath. Alright, here it is. We've got some noodles with mushroom, like choy, and yeah, this looks really good. So, bon appetit. Oh, and of course, metal cutlery. out of New York, which means the lunch service is starting. So I started with some Coke, which always helps calm my stomach on these flights, and some peas and crackers. And I have to show you guys this. I have a sticker on my computer from Bob Guys, which is my favorite bubble tea place in the world. And I haven't been to the US in a year, meaning I haven't had Bob Guys in a year, so I am so excited to go here. I'm so excited. Anytime the food comes on Singapore Airlines, I get excited. So let's see what's inside. And here is the food all uncovered. This looks how I picture a dinosaur baby's skin, and it freaks me out, but it's obviously a leaf. And I expect to find something delicious in there. I'm going to show you what's inside as well. And here we have these super colorful side dishes. One of them looks like seaweed salad here on the left. And some sort of jello custard dessert, so um, it's honestly really nice. Big, big portion again. And here's the big reveal of what was inside fried rice. <laughs> and dessert is this ice cream.
power port is right here in the armrest. And it's time to say goodbye. My, how I have loved this seat for an economy seat. It's awesome. But this always hurts. All right, you guys, hi from quite a while later. I sometimes just cannot get myself to record a conclusion in the moment. I'll procrastinate it the entire afternoon after I land, and finally, it just doesn't happen. So here are my thoughts on this flight. I don't think there is a single airline out there in the world, at least that I have tried, that invests as equally in all of their cabins, whether it's economy, business class, or first class, all of them are just incredible. And unfortunately, those of us in Europe and North America tend to get stuck with airlines that invest a little bit less in the experience. So to me, you know, I'm all about not giving airlines slack for underperforming and Singapore Airlines doesn't unperform. The meals are huge and great quality. The service is just amazing in economy class. Little things like you asking them for something or making a request, asking a question, they'll come back when they're done with the meal service 45 minutes later and remember it and help you personally. Just things like that that set them apart from other airlines. The crew never make you feel like you're a burden on them, which is so common in economy class. Instead, they welcome all of you very warmly. I also love the seat on the upper deck. You guys, if you haven't flown the upper deck of the E380 in economy class, there is no better place to sit on any airline in economy because you have those huge storage compartments on the side. You could literally hide a baby in there. You could hide your dog, whatever you want. Just don't hide snakes on a plane, please, please. If you're flying between Europe and the US, it doesn't get better than Singapore Airlines' A380. Also, their A350 from Manchester to Houston is a great option as well. If you like Singapore Airlines, make sure to give this video a thumbs up because more thumbs up equals more love for Singapore Airlines. So until I see you all for my next video on Friday, fly safe.